Hi, you guys. I can't believe what happened today. All right, I went to Target. I got to tell you this because I think it's important to those of us who are watching and observing what's going on and who truly believe um, that God speaks to us in many ways. Okay, I purchased something on originally on November 7th. Got my receipt right here. And I returned it today. But first of all, I want to tell you, when I bought it, the grand total on my receipt was a little disturbing. Too many fours. It was $44.94. Kind of bothered me, but oh well. And I went home, forgot about it. One of the things on there that I purchased, I decided I didn't want, and I returned it today. And at the same time, I was thinking, hmm, that'll change my receipt. It won't be $44.94 anymore. Here's the receipt down there you can see. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's down there, forty-four ninety-four. And we know that fours. Um, I, I, I looked up four. I know it's an earthly number, they say, but it also um, could mean judgment, and I believe it does because I've been seeing that number oh, so much, so much. Um, it's coming back even more in a full force. Um, for about a year, I've been seeing that number over and over in the strangest ways. Oh, there it is now, 944 on my phone. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that as I'm speaking. See that? 944. Hello. God is speaking. Hello. Wow. <laughs> and you know what? Let me tell you this. I actually did another video that, I'm, that I deleted. I, I, about the same thing today. And when I turned my phone on to do this video, the time was 4.44. I'm not lying. God is my witness, I am not lying. Okay, um, it's not a big deal to some of you maybe out there, but those of us who really are paying attention, it's a big deal. The judgment is coming and it's getting closer and closer together with all of these, these little signs that we're getting and these messages. And it's a good thing now because so many of us are so weary and feeling like we need to get oh, up. We need, we need a break from this troubled world and we want to give up. And, you know, we can't. We can't. Jesus is coming. But judgment is also coming. Judgment comes after Jesus raptures us. And unfortunately, there's still some bad things happening in the world. And God bless all of those people in, in France, in Paris that, uh, ooh, I haven't heard the details, but God bless them all over there. Our prayers are with you, and I pray for all Christians around the world every day. Be strong, everyone. Don't give up. Jesus is with us forever. He's with us through everything. Always, okay? Just think of uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He was with them through the fire. He'll be with us, too, no matter what. Um, so back to my receipt issue. So my original purchase, $44.94, lots of fours in there, right? And I, I usually like make a bigger deal when they're all together in a row, but 44 is enough, and then there's a 94 after it. So anyway, that troubled me, but I got over it, like I said. I returned something on there today, a, a tunic, like a sweatshirt thing, for $22.99 that came off the price today. So... Um, I got that off there, okay, so I have a credit that's still on my, my visa, went to my visa for $24.77, okay, hold tight to that. So I walked around the store, didn't take a cart with me because I figured I'm just going to walk around, see if I needed something. Um, I did. I found a pair of shoes. <laughs> I needed a pair of shoes. My other ones were really beat up. So um, I don't buy much these days. I hope you guys don't either. We won't need it for long, but I did need shoes. So I got a pair of shoes, and I'm walking around, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what else I need, and I just stopped and grabbed a jug of one of those two-liter bottles of some ginger ale, and I went to the checkout, and I'm chatting with a lady I met um, that was an old friend of mine, and then when I go to pay my bill, $44.44. Is that not God speaking? Come on, you guys. I I didn't like $44.94. I wanted to take care of that in a way, in the back of my mind, when I was returning something. So I go buy something else. God fixed me good, didn't he? He put another four in the, in the figures. $44.44. But you know what? A few months ago, 
I was praying to the Lord. I'm like, I am so sick of these fours everywhere I look. They're driving me crazy, like the, like the stove just now. You saw that. That's what happens to me all the time. My battery charger. Everybody, you guys know what I'm talking about. They, that C44 all the time, or whatever number. I said, Lord, I'm so uh, confused, sick of the, look at that. 244 on the phone again. You couldn't see it. It's everywhere. Um, I'm sick of the 44s. Can you please maybe show me 77s now to let me know that you're coming? Careful what you ask for. Now I see 77s all the time also, but that's a good thing. So now I'm seeing 77s and 44s. 77, 44. And my receipt, my adjustment that went to Visa, $24.77. <laughs> I don't believe in coincidences. And I'm not looking for these things. They're just presenting themselves to me with a message. It's not like I'm looking for them, okay? Ooh, Jesus is coming. These are true signs, but the 44-44, that blew me away. Bottom line is, judgment is coming. People got to be warned. This is serious. You know, out of all the people in that store today at Target, why me getting the 4444? Why? You know why. We're the Christians that do the warning. We're the ones that listen and obey. And obey. We're the ones God can count on to get his word out. Other people, if there's a 44, they're not going to even pay attention to the receipt problem. They're not noticing these things. We are. It's time to wake up. It's time to warn everyone. It's been time. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's a big deal, isn't it? In a little way, it's a big deal. These little signs from God. Jesus is really coming. We all feel it. Don't ignore the signs. Please report what you, you find, things that happen, messages. It's important to all of us. It's encouraging. Even in these days when the news is not so good, we've got something to look forward to. The end is really happening in this world, so the beginning starts in the next world for us. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I ask that anyone who is not saved, please give your life to Jesus today, right now. Today is a day of salvation. We are not guaranteed tomorrow. Give your heart to Jesus. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus will be saved. You won't be able to handle what's going to happen after we're gone, after the rapture, you know, all the tribulation. The people left behind in that time of seven years after the rapture of the church, that's the final seven years of this earth, the way you see it. God's going to restore it and make it new again. But you won't be able to bear what's coming. You've got to get saved. You've just got to. It's time for us to get bold and shout it out to everybody we can. Hurry up. Find a place in your heart, even if it's just a mustard mustard seed size mustard seed size of faith, the Bible says. Okay? That's good enough for the Lord. Believe. Put your trust in Jesus, and he will never never leave you nor forsake you. He'll carry you through all your troubles and your burdens will not be so heavy anymore. He'll take the load off you. Trust in him. He loves you so much. He died for you. He did. <laughs>